ruling overturns California's law legalizing assisted suicide. The law allows doctors to prescribe lethal drugs to terminally ill patients. But the judge took issue with the way it was passed. KPI X5's Ken Bastida's reaction to the ruling. Ken? Yeah, Alan, Elizabeth, uh, this ruling came as a big surprise. Late this afternoon, a judge in Riverside County overturned California's controversial End of Life Option Act, and he did it on a technicality. Now, the law, which took effect in California in 2016, allows doctors to prescribe lethal medications to patients with six months or less to live. Today, the judge said the state legislature, quote, improperly passed the measure while it was meeting in a special session, not a session intended to deal with this kind of matter. Well, opponents have argued the law was rushed through, but supporters of the measure say today's ruling leaves thousands of terminally ill Californians in limbo. This law has helped thousands, literally thousands of people find peace and comfort of mind just knowing the law exists let alone using the law. Well, one of the people advocating for the law was Brittany Maynard. You remember the California woman who was diagnosed with an aggressive form of brain cancer moved to Oregon to take advantage of its end of life law. Well, this evening, her family says they are disappointed with the California ruling. For now, the assisted death law remains in effect. The judge is giving the California Attorney General five days to file an emergency appeal. And this evening, Javier Becerra is promising to do just that. His office released this statement a short time ago saying, quote, we strongly disagree with this ruling and the state is seeking expedited review in the Court of Appeal. Now, according to state records, in the first six months after the law took effect, more than 110 terminally ill Californians died after taking those lethal drugs prescribed by their doctors. Elizabeth.